EMB Network with D Sparta. I hate my makeup today. I tried this other primer and it was like everything just swooshed everywhere. And I was. Uh, but I'm here. Folks, we're here. And we're going to be talking Carrie. Yes, this is another episode in the series of astrology, signs, and horror movies. Dun, dun, dun. And Carrie's sign from what it was my first instinct. And as I rewatched the movies, yes, there's movies of Carrie. <laughs> there's been three, re there's been the first two remakes and there was a sequel. Now, the sequel didn't, the original came out in 1976 and the sequel came out in 1999. So there's like this huge gap. <laughs> anyway, um, now Carrie was originally written in, I believe, 1975. It was Stephen King's very first horror novel. Not first novel, horror novel, okay? And it became a movie and a very popular movie. <laughs> that it's been remade over and over. And it's a story that kids relate to, uh, young women can relate to. And I say she's a cancer. Cancer is like the most um, emotional sign of them all. It's also very, very psychic, they're emotional. They, it's in the fourth house. That's the sign is in the fourth house. And that is the house of your home, your mother nurturing. And if you look in Carrie's life, she, her home is her everything, even though her home is not healthy, is not good. Her mom um, was raped and she was upset because she enjoyed it and she figured she was wrong for enjoying something. I talk about Twisted here and she does not tell Carrie about any, you know, about a woman becoming a woman, in fact. I think she wanted to keep Carrie young so she wouldn't have the same experiences that she did and took it all out. So Carrie, um, it is a, you know, cancer is also a water sign, which is all about the emotions and it is cardinal which is at the beginning of a season. It's the initiator. And let's see here. Moon is the planet ruling over it. The moon is, is our deep inside emotions. It is also very psychic abilities coming from there. It's, it just embodies, I mean, who I think Carrie is. Carrie, she doesn't have any friends at school. She is mocked and made fun of. In the very beginning, she, she has her period. She doesn't realize that what it is. She's just bleeding in the showers at school and freaking out. And the girls make fun of her for this. Now, teacher, um, she the teacher does not let the kids get away with this. And the kids do get punished in detention. Now, there was one of the girls who actually had remorse and felt guilty about what she had done and wanted to make up for it. She felt really bad for Carrie. She was like, that was, that was bad of me. That wasn't nice. I should not have mocked her. And she also was dating the really sexy, cool Tommy who Carrie has a crush on. Yes, she does. Now, she also, cancers have a hard time just letting somebody in and trusting them completely. Yet they can be loyal to a fault. And you see this with her, with her mom. Her loyalty to her mom is, she shouldn't have, should be loyal to her mom, but she feels she has to be. It's her mom and she feels so betrayed. She cries to her mom, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me, you teach me about all this? And her mom is like, oh, you've got been cursed, you know, and is crazy. Now, Sue and Tommy get this idea, you know, Sue talks her boyfriend into taking Carrie to prom so she could have a special time and feel like she could be part of the part of everybody and be part of the school and her friend and meeting people and just feeling accepted. Carrie immediately thinks 
I can't trust you. No, no. I think there's, and assuming behaviors is definitely something cancers do. <laughs> and this is not always right. <laughs> they were, she assumed the motivation was to get her to be humiliated, to be hurt. Her mom even says, they're, it's a mockery. They're, they're going to make fun of you. You know, her mom doesn't want her to go, but she goes anyway. And she, you know, she kicks her bums. Yeah, you know, they, there's a big, huge fight. And she's like, oh, well, I'm going, mom, I'm going. And so she goes, right? And it seems to be going really well. And she's feeling more accepted. Now, unfortunately, I'm the popular girl. Oh, uh, her name, Chris. Well, she and her boyfriend have a horrible plan. They want revenge. Because, well, you know, money and popularity and everything could not keep her out from getting detention or in any kind of trouble for making fun of Carrie the way she did. And there's a lot of resentment. So they decide they her boyfriend, they go to a pig farm, kill a blood pig, and kick all the blood. Gross, yes. And the thing is, is they try and set it up so that Carrie and Tommy become prom king and queen. And this is the whole climactic part where, holy moly, does Carrie's emotions take over. Now, Carrie started realizing her emotions, when she'd get really emotional, upset, something would happen. She she was she started she could do things and I that just really kind of reinforced in me this whole cancer with her feelings and emotions and the powers coming out from her emotions her feelings is when they are the strongest you know you see where I'm going with this you see where I'm going I hope you do okay so we got we got her and cancers also, also, they have, um, they will hold on to resentments for a long time and let this simmer. And when they explode, you may not even know why, what happened, what you did wrong, but you, obviously you did something because they are mad. They will shut you out. They will cut all ties it's just, just you, you, you yeah well carrie is on this rebel streak against her mom she rebelled which is that is a cancer trait too she finally has it enough nerve to stand up and rebel and when she's at the prom and they she gets crowned queen and Tommy King, they were both shocked, but they get up there and the students don't make fun of it. They're like, oh, yay, yay, you know? She's feeling, okay, my mom was all wrong, right? Well, then the blood gets dumped on and the bucket falls down and hits Tommy in the head and kills Tom. I, that had been one nasty bucket. I mean, that always boggled me. The bucket is what killed Tommy? Uh, anyway. <laughs> She's covered in blood. Tommy's knocked out, down, gone. And she ends up hallucinating and thinking the kids are making fun of her. And goes on this tirade and starts sealing up the room. Her psychic powers go crazy. She seals up the room and the gym and sets it on fire. And she leaves. Now, some people did survive or got, got were inside the gym when this happened. Uh, Sue, because, well, her boyfriend has already the problem with Carrie. But as Carrie leaves, she is literally, the town is being attacked. She is destroying everything that she's walking around. Her rage right now is intense. It is really intense. And she ends up killing Chris and her boyfriend, for, you know, what their little stunt they had. I mean, literally the car picks up a car and flips it out. I mean, she, this is, she gets home and there's different, different um, endings. Okay. <laughs> With the different movies of what happens. You know, one is Carrie attacks her mom or her mom kills her or, but or at least stabs her and attacks her and chases her around. Um, but the whole gist is, is pretty much, 
she sets the house on fire the main you know the main idea with the of the most of the endings is the house is on fire mom's dead and carrie either disappears and you don't know what happened to her or she does die also in the flames and sue is left with this trauma she's lost her boyfriend she just carrie it happened to her i mean she's like scarred and traumatized now in one of the um remakes sue actually saves carrie's life and carrie and her um say farewell at the end is carrie's gonna start a new life elsewhere she needs to move on and at least sue's got some closure she was able to help at in the end but she still lost so much anyway this i know it's crazy right this is an intense story of you know bullies what can happen with bullying and um if you bully the wrong person and basically they bully the wrong person because Carrie is a badass cancer. Well, I hope you had fun with this little video trip and I want to hear what your opinions are. If you think that, you know, because, you know, it's a water sign and I have some people like, but she uses fire. Yeah, her temper may be fiery, but she's a, she is a cancer. Please tell me what you think below. Give me your opinions. If you agree that she was a cancer or not, if you think that she was a what other sign you think she possibly could be, and also tell me who else you want to see me um, go into um, another, you know, horror. It could be from a TV series. It can be from a movie, book, you know, just let me know. And I will look into this. And, you know, I want to keep going. Right now we have done the Virgo, which is Sydney from Scream. And now we have Carrie the Cancer. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way, did I? You had fun with this. I had fun researching. I got to rewatch these movies and, and do a lot of research in it. And that was fun. It was, a, it was fun to go back and just be all that nostalgia. So... I hope you all are doing well, and I do hope that you guys are being kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and I'll see you next time here on the Emmy Network.